The community of Kaka'ako that we see today has a history grounded in Native Hawaiian values, cultural diversity, industry, and entrepreneurship. This region was once home to fishing villages, fish ponds, and salt flats. To Hawaiians, pa'akai, or salt, was as valuable as gold and was used as a seasoning, preservative, medicine, and purifier. In the 1800s, residential construction began and diverse immigrant camps emerged. Historically, these lands moved into industrialized uses, starting with the establishment of the Honolulu Iron Works, a metal foundry and machine shop in 1852. Small stores, churches, schools, and parks were built, including Pohukaina School next to Mother Waldron Park. Kaka'ako became a community built on a strong blue-collar work ethic, social activism, and a sense of ohana. In the mid-1900s, Kaka'ako changed from being residential to commercial. Small businesses sprung up, including wholesalers and warehouses, leading to the urban Kaka'ako of today. We are in an area known as Kaka'ako, Kaka'okupui, which is part of the Ahupua of Honolulu. Kaka'ako, it refers to ako, and ako is the creation or the preparation of thatching material. Well, what is thatching? Thatching, though, or, or to ako, is how you uh, build the traditional Hawaiian structures, hale pili. And so Kaka'ako literally means to prepare the thatching. Kaka'okupui, or the light, which is to the north or to the right even, and could have been a reference to fires or torches that were used at certain times on purpose, or maybe for working all night in a long um, halau or a long house that was thatched with pili grass, where they had to prepare the salt and maybe put them in umeke, or the calabashes, the wooden calabash. Hawaii had become a part of what was known as a triangle trade. Hawaii, provisions, salt, fresh water, food. Pacific Northwest, fur trapping, and providing the furs, the pelts, which were very valuable for a number of things. And what was needed to, to cure the pelts or the fur was salt. So the triangle, the three points, Hawaii, the Pacific Northwest, and China. And that meant that salt needed to be now produced in massive quantities for, for foreigners who needed it, and it became a commodity. These 29 acres that comprise the nine Malka blocks of our Kaka'ako have been passed down through the prominent members of the Kamehameha lineage. In the 1848 Mahele, the Ili of Ka'akaukukui was awarded to Victoria Kamamalu and eventually passed to Kealii Bernice Powahi Paaki Bishop. Powahi knew that education would enable her people to thrive and become OEV leaders. So she founded Kamehameha Schools and gifted her nearly 365,000 acres of ancestral aina to support the education of Native Hawaiian children in perpetuity. Today, Kamehameha Schools' commercial properties support Hawaii's vision by providing a revenue stream for its educational programs and learning and work environments for Keiki to pursue their entrepreneurial dreams. From its colorful street murals and trendy shops, to its walkable, pet-friendly gathering spaces and diverse housing options, our Kaka'ako is a vibrant place to live, work, play, and visit. And just as the historical lands of Kaka'ako, our Kaka'ako will continue to embrace the region's history, culture, values, and progressive spirit in the years to come.